Hello, everybody. It is Al Knight, and it is Brony time, and welcome back to another reaction to Watership Down. Now, the first episode did not please. They're not true to the source material. And they completely cut out million important parts of the story, expecting new people to jump in with and think, you know, like, what the hell's going on? Like, what is that? It, this is not suitable to people who've never read the book or seen the movie, so that's just another Exxon straight off me. And they got done with the very, very um journey to Watership Down in one episode. One. Why in the hell couldn't they have done that with Sandalford Warren? Have one episode dedicated to that. There's just no point in them cutting it out other than, oh, it's too scary for kids. <sighs> if it's going to be too scary, then don't make a show, a kid's Try to take a dark show and make it a kid's fit. And make a dark film, my bad, and make it a kid's show. Because it's not going to work out for you. And you're just going to look like you're censoring it. So, let's, uh, whatever. Let's just get into this so I can get this over with. I'm sorry I'm eating on camera, but this is applesauce, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> what the hell is that? Such suspense. I was so worried right there. Big wig. Hazel. Where are you? Where are you? Okay then. Oh look, here we are already. <sighs> Why couldn't they have done an animal of farthing wood and have it um uh What is it, Fiver? The whole first series be I the journey and about Captain Holly. He was trying to stop us from leaving Sandalford. Now that's all behind us now. We're here, safe on Watership Down. And it's a beautiful morning. And is that a weasel or an otter? Oh, hey, look, it's a hedgehog. Not this time, you silly old weasel. Bye. Morning, Kiha. Yeah. Are you off your rocker, screaming like that? Kiha, say hello to Beasts. Oh, you should hear whole flock sing. Big music. Oh, is that what you call it? I said these two should clear off our down, and I meant it. Oh, shut up. Be fair, Bigwig. His wings hurt. That's not all that'll be hurt if he doesn't watch his beak. What's the matter with the rabbits? Everybody likes gulls and mice. Not me. Oh, so he's a double species. He's a species against anything that's not rabbits. Oh, okay. Okay, big league. I see you. I see you. Goodbye, duck. Aw, we can't show a little duck being slaughtered. 
So perilous. Long is. Okay, so he has the voice. Everyone, over here. There were rabbits here once upon a time. Long gone now. Hey, Blackberry. Or no enemies. It smells safe. Is it good? It's very big. Yeah, I thought you said, is it God? And I'm like, it's in good shape. If you don't believe in God. And that's, uh, or maybe she does. I don't know. <laughs> but she said good, so. Blackberry, in case you've forgotten, bucks don't dig. Oh. Um. Be reasonable. Blackberry's the only doe. We can't expect her to dig the whole warren by herself. Yes? So? So, we're all going to pitch in. Oh, I don't think so. Look, if we're going to survive... Oh, I am a male! Way. I am above oh, the I've female! The thing. But to be if fair, these are the animals, and, and well... So, and there's no there. such thing as you animal feminism. Thank God. I'm if we had animal third wave feminists, think how oh, bad nice that would be. Very thoughtful. We've got to get everyone pulling together, or we're finished. Maybe they just need time to get used to a new place. You might try leading by example, Hazel. The digging won't do itself. So, so far we've had speciesism and, uh, you know, the typical sexism. <laughs> You're hungry, aren't you, Kiha? Gulls always hungry. A stupid wing. Oh, maybe you find some food for Kiha. Grubs, find stick with grubs. Mm -hmm -hmm. By myself? Yeah, sure. You big, strong rabbit. All right. No, actually I'm a child, even though in the book I was never really a child. Oh, but mice. oh well, it's better than them making Blackberry a female. Needs mice. So... They made it a push a feminine message. Hmm. So disappointed. Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I have come to haunt your dreams! Oh, I'm Welcome sure he's gonna back die. To hunting ground, long ear. Okay, why did they. If, why didn't they just kill him? No, don't try to make Big Wig out to be this. Hero. He's still an asshole. Are you all right, Pipkin? What do you use for a brain? Sending Pipkin off on his own like that. You nearly got him killed with your selfishness. Kihaz, oh, you please. Gull. Kihaz, sorry. The sooner you're gone, the better. There's no point making him feel worse than he does. I told you rabbits weren't meant to mix with gulls and mice, didn't I? And who was this? Jesus about Christ! Christ! Anna, a mouse. Without this her, guy is such an asshole. Well, what the hell did they do to that him? Gull's fault. Pipkin was out there. And yeah, sure, he was a little grumpy, but at least he was a pretty stand-up rabbit. Now they just made him like, oh, right. he's a species. Now, said, Don't go off on your own anymore. Lecture over. You don't deserve to lecture anyone, you asshole. Oh, here now. No, 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 don't try to turn this around. You up. 
It's more than that, Pigwig. I heard a voice in the winds calling your name. Well, there's no other rabbits round here but us. I know, but what if it was the Black Rabbit of Inlay? He's looking for me. He knows where to find me. What is that? Sorry. Do they expect to everyone who's watching this show... They think kids are dumb idiots and won't notice when they don't understand something. Who are you? Oh yeah, he looks really like scratched up and hurt, doesn't he? Slot like these is for worst chatting job ever. I just have to shout, Big Wig, where are you? Gets me paid. What's up your nose, Bigwig? Uh, just trying to stay alert. Somebody's got to, you know, there's a dangerous... Yes, but apart from that, I'm really beginning to enjoy it here. Once Blackberry's done digging as a nice cosy warren, I'll enjoy it even more. Things would go a lot faster if everybody helped. I'd enjoy that. I really would. Look, there's a weasel about, and the sooner we get everyone underground, the better. If you want to work like a doe, that's fine. But we've got our pride. Right now, your pride is a very little interest to me. I think I love Hazel, though. Oh, Hazel's the only do. thing I've liked you about this entire me. thing. And who's going to make me? <sighs> There's no point fighting. <laughs> Shows what you know. There are other ways to settle things, such as <laughs> well, bobstones. We'll play a game. Bobstones. If I win, you Hawkbid and Dandelion help with the. Oh, game. gambling! And I get it. When Big Wig wins. If he wins, nah, you can all lie in the grass for the rest of your lives. It's only fair to warn you. I was Bobstone's champion at Sandalford three seasons running. No, you weren't. Oh, but whatever. <laughs> was Bobstone? I haven't read the book in a while. Is Bobstone's even Tonight, in the book? Like, Tonight. where did they mention Bobstone's? Bobstone guess. Oh, come on, Biggie. I think you could do it. Bobstone guess is... One. <laughs> oh, God. Bad luck, bad luck, bad luck. Come on, come on. I've seen you play better. Come on. Come on. Guess this one, right? You win. Bobstone guess. Hmm. Bobstone guess is two. Bobstone guess is two. What? Wait, what? There it's two twice? No, you boys get to dig like those. Oh, ho, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't clip that beak, I'll kick you off the down whether that wing works or not. Leave Kiha alone. You're not a bunny rabbit. You're a bully rabbit. I thought Thank you, you were leaving. No. Nope. was, till I saw you rabbits needed my help. Hairy head. You cheated, didn't you? <laughs> Those vision powers are... I thought you didn't believe in his you vision powers. First, you don't believe I have visions. Now I'm using them to cheat. Make up your mind, would you? Hey, enough of that. I love I her. lost. And Al's Lorona demands I accept that. Whether it was fair or not. Well, at least we won. Did we? Oh, things have been a bit rough on first day on downs there. We won't survive if we keep fighting amongst Can't ourselves. Can't tell if she's in Cockney or just a hick. That's a I don't know. Leaders. There can only be one. 
I know. I don't. I think she's trying to I do it, but she's over. not. I got us safely to watership down. Maybe it's time for Bigwig to take over. No, you're the leader. You're not listening. I'm listening fine. You led them to watership down. That makes you the leader, Finito. Finny what? Hello, Weasel, again. When do weasels get telepathic uh, connections? Watch and B, it, he wasn't me. even on screen. Hi, do you mind? We should figure out how to deal with that weasel instead of doing those work. We try our best, and what do we get? <gasps> Thank you, Karma. See, Bigwig, Karma is a bitch. If you want to be a speciesist and sexist asshole. You get dirt falling on you. Everyone all right? <laughs> all accounted for. Oh, have we done enough yet? Hmm? Actually, you haven't done badly at all. It was a little burrow, hiding a great big one. And the roots hold up the ceiling. Looks like a honeycomb. Then that's what we'll call this chamber. The honeycomb. Once we get it cleared out, there'll be room enough for everyone. Not likely. Come look at this. Do you suppose it goes somewhere? Let's see. Hello! Hello! Good echo there. That was impressive. But they it's can't narrow put that and in. rocky. And from the echo, it goes on forever. And I could smell fresh air coming up it. So it's well, a portal to an alien world. world. Twice goes to the far side of the down. It's true. Not much use to us if you can't turn round in it. It might do us a lot of good. I think I know how to tackle that weasel. If we can get the weasel to go down the rock tunnel, we can seal it behind him. Yeah, and he'll come up somewhere far away, hopefully never to return. But how do we get him in? Ask nicely. I'll get him to chase me in. You'll be waiting outside, ready to rush in and seal up the rock tunnel. I think someone should point out the obvious flaw. You'll be sealed in there too, Hazel. I know. But if I don't do it, the weasel will get us all sooner or later. There's no choice, really. Wow, they... Why couldn't they have done this with everything? Let like, me do it, Hazel. Look, the no, way listen. Hazel is written is black how Hazel is was written. Me. I heard him call my name. But the black rabbit only takes the old and the sick to the land beyond life. It's got to be a mistake. I don't believe he makes mistakes. Pipkin heard him, too. He called. Big wig. Big wig. Right, they get the idea. The point is, when the Black Rabbit comes to carry you off to the land beyond life, you go. Look, Hazel, you know, we've had our differences, but let's face it, none of us would be here without you. If Watership Down is going to survive... Yeah, you've been a species and sexist asshole. All those new ideas are yours. So... Let me do this. Oh, well, everyone's been everyone. sexist, but... Except Hazel. Hawkbit, Pipkin, over there. The rest of you are in the tall grass behind the tree. Kiha, for you... I do anything, Mr. Bigwig. Hero Bunny, most brave rabbit. Yeah, all right, that's nice. Thank you. Uh, when you see the weasel going after me, sound the alarm. That was funny. <laughs> like so. Come inside. I want to show you something. Yes, yes, uh, yes. That was great. The voice acting there is made it all better. You what? Well, it made it more funny. Good trick, eh? Well, that's all then. No questions? Um, 
We decided I should say a few words. It's been an honour to know you, and... Look, you're a good bunch, and you'll get on fine without me. Now let's oh get at God. it. Oh, God. It's OK, Bigwig. You don't have to. Hannah's going to lead the weasel into the rock tunnel. I beg your pardon? There's a tiny escape hole, just the right size for Hannah. It leads back to the burrow. And you said mice were no good. <laughs> All well and good, but I am not letting a mouse do a rabbit's job. Now be sensible, Yep, even Bigwig. near death, he still sucked a species. Gosh. Me. It doesn't mean to say you have to run out and meet him. I'm going, and that is that. Oh, you Rabin. stubborn ass. You wouldn't dare. Oh, oh. You just said Hazel was lead up. Best we follow his commands, don't you think? All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Smelly breath. Short ears. No long ear. Mouse mouthful now. Long ear later. Suppose mice and gulls aren't completely useless. Oh my god. Oh, praise indeed. But it's best we're gonna get from you, eh, big wig. Easy as acorns falling off an oak. Big wig, <gasps> where are you? It's the black rabbit of inlay. Why would you I'll uh, I'll have to go now, uh, uh be good, Pipkin. I'll get back. If you look on the face of the black rabbit, he'll take you too. We're not letting you face him alone. Yeah, like what? If I heard a voice calling me in the distance, I would think, "Oh crap! The angel of death has come to take me." Like. I've been searching. Oh, and now he looks like he's been injured. You were right. We should all have left when we had the chance. Did anyone else get out? Pimpernel. He's safe. Left the black. So Stand it looks like God. someone drawn on it with like Destroyed. a Where really black left? pencil. It's all right, Holly. You're safe now. You're it doesn't us. even look like he's hurt. Like I maybe they could add some tinges of red to it. I felt to make fear. it look like. But Never mind. part of me hoped I was wrong. I know. Sandalford's gone and we're all alone. What do we do, Hazel? What when? our ancestors did before us. We go on, Fiverr. How do we even know? Are you just saying that, you know, Sandalford just wiped out completely? Right eye. Oh, I can't be right. So. That was Home on the Down. What did I think of it? Still really didn't care for it. There were a couple good parts. I do like... Uh... Kiar and... Hirana? Hira? Something that starts with an... Hanya! Hanya! That's it. Um... Hazel was written... Like, I think Hazel would be written. They did a good job with him. For some, now to get on to all the bad stuff, uh, Blackberry. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't get any of the story, like, even at being, even as someone who's seen the movie, I still don't understand a single thing that's going on within the main story, 
What happened to Sandalford? They never established that anything happened to Sandalford. Do they just expect to just be able to cut it out and suddenly everyone who watches it has seen the show or read the book, seen the movie or read the book? You can't do that. You have to establish some story. And I still think they could have done Sandalford in one episode. Show it. Show it get destroyed. Then you're fine. Then I don't care. You can do whatever you want. But you got to establish the main story. You have to explain what happened to Sandalford for people who don't know what's going on. I know what happened to Sandalford, but everyone else doesn't. And if you can't show it, that's fine. But you have to have a first episode that shows it getting destroyed. Just show it getting filled in. Show them going away. Stay true to the story. If you're going to make a show based off of a book and a movie, you have to stay true to the source material. And no, screw you. Don't tell me I'm being too hard on this. People went out and complained about Maze Runner Scorch Trials, how it wasn't true to the source material. So I'm complaining now. This is not true to the source material. It never showed Sandalford. It made Blackberry a female for some reason. Probably some PC or feminist move. Or maybe to invoke a girl audience, which still doesn't count for it. Just add a female in later on. A female comes on later in the story anyway. You've cut half of everything down. Why can't you cut this down? Okay. Still not... Some things impressed me. Character, some characters, some voice acting, but this thing has got a long way to go before I will say that I've seen a good episode. And you know what? Maybe it'll be cool later on. Like, maybe they'll add in after Ephraim, after that. Then you can do whatever you want after that. Once you get past Ephraim, don't care what you do, because... The story doesn't go on after Ephraim. It just cuts to when Hazel dies. So, there's three seasons, and all, they've already cut it down by getting rid of Sandalford, by making the journey only one episode. Is that why you shortened it? You can't do that. Alright. So, that was my tangent that I'm going on. Hopefully it was better than the last video. His last video was me being salty and raging, so I wanted to be salty and raging with some points this time. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Burning Time for more content, and I will see you guys next time.